A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. Technology has been developed. New blueprints are crafting completed. Crafting completed. Available for crafting.
Research completed. Orbital scanner construction is in progress. But before we start jumping off to different parts of the planet, we should build the necessary local research facilities. The communications hub can only help us with downloading already developed technologies back from Earth. Still, one of the main reasons why we came here is to conduct research and to learn about the environment that we encounter here. We can research new technologies based on samples of alien life forms or any new substances that we encounter if we construct the Alien Research Laboratory building. Okay, we've got all the necessary technologies downloaded. This building requires a supply of clean water to operate. It would be best to place it close to a pool of mud or sludge that we can filter. Alien Research Laboratory construction in progress. Fantastic, I can't wait for it to be built. This building is going to open up a whole new range of possibilities for us. If I had a base like that on Orion, I wouldn't have lost my arm back then. How did that happen? I got careless while searching for Anorex crystals. I found a fascinating growth anomaly that was transforming all of its surroundings. I've never seen anything like that, so I had to take a sample. I was shielded inside a recon suit, but when I grabbed the crystal with my hand, it just went through it. My entire arm was infected. Why didn't you use a bioscanner to take the sample? They only work in conjunction with a lab like this. I didn't have a base on Orion or a mech suit to build one. I am sorry to hear that, Ashley. And I am glad that we got paired together. I will not allow something like that to happen to you. Okay, let's not get too emotional about that. If you look at it from a different perspective, I got an enhanced biomechanical arm replacement and I still got the sample. Alien Research Laboratory construction finished. We have to supply it with clean water to keep it operational. You can produce clean water by placing a pump in any type of liquid and delivering it to a water filtering plant for processing. Connect the output from the water filtering plant to the Alien Research Laboratory using pipes. Finally! The Alien Research Lab is operational. We can start gathering research samples and scanning the local flora and fauna. We can use the bioscanner to begin collecting samples without destroying the environment. It's the safest and most efficient way to advance our research. This is so exciting! We can finally start working on the thing that we came here to do. Ashley, don't forget that our primary objective is to establish a two-way portal back to Earth to enable human colonization of Galatea 37. That's true, but we also have to study this planet to ensure that it is safe for colonization and to minimize the damage done to the local ecosystem by future colonists. 
minimizing damage to the local ecosystem, is listed at the end of the official list of priorities of this mission. I'm the only human on this planet. I can set my own list of priorities. Warning! An enemy attack is imminent. We should build stronger defenses around our base. Research completed. Creatures are approaching our base. Get ready for battle. Scanner geomapping procedure finished. We have gathered a lot of very useful information about the planet and found traces of rare elements in multiple locations around the globe. One of Galaxy.
Isaiah's continents appears to be a barren desert that has been squashed by intense radiation and very intense solar activity. These harsh conditions are most probably caused by the high condensation of radioactive elements like uranium or thorium. Our scans have located a safe rift jump location for an initial scouting mission. Gaining access to uranium would allow us to construct nuclear power plants and some heavy weaponry. This should make surviving on Galatea much easier. The second interesting area is densely covered by acidic clouds of unknown origin. Spectral analysis detected traces of palladium scattered throughout this geographical zone. I have marked a safe rift jump location for initial reconnaissance on the orbital scanner interface. Titanium has been detected in a large zone of intense volcanic activity. The orbital scanner has been providing some strange readings from this area, with temperatures ranging from 800 to 100 Kelvin. On top of that, it is entirely impossible to get any sensible magnetic field readings from this area. We were able to find a safe rift jump location within the volcanic zone. However, you should expect extreme environmental conditions. All of these locations contain extreme environmental hazards and unknown species of creatures. We should upgrade our equipment as much as we can before venturing out into these new biomes. One of our buildings has been destroyed. A tower has been destroyed. The weather's changing. Wind is slowing down. Wind has stopped. This will affect wind turbine power generation. Research completed. Wind power is returning to normal. <laughs> 